Back in January, in my State of the Union address, I warned of the danger posed by a Supreme Court ruling called Citizens United, a decision that now allows big corporations to spend unlimited amounts of money to influence our elections. All across America, special interests have poured millions of dollars into phony front groups. You've seen them. At a time of such challenge for America, we can't afford these political games. And what is at stake is no less than the integrity of our democracy. Because in a democracy, powerful interests must not be allowed to drown out the voices of ordinary citizens. And as long as I'm your president, I'll never stop fighting to make sure that the most powerful voice in Washington belongs to you. Fox News alert on an about face for President Obama. President Obama is actually reversing course. The president seems to be having a change of heart. Asking his top fundraisers to embrace the pro-Obama super PACs. Uh, <laughs> obviously on record for standing up against super PACs. Think of the sad commentary on where we are. The uh, Obama campaign says it doesn't want to fight with one hand tied behind its back. I have a soft spot. <laughs> This is part of a pattern of behavior with Barack Obama that goes back to 2008. When he opted out of public financing in the 2008 cycle and went on to uh, raise more than anyone had ever raised. <laughs> uh, the president's going to continue to fight for ways to reform that system in the future. But you don't get to change the rules if you're not in control of the car. We can't unilaterally disarm. We have to operate our campaign under the rules that exist right now. Would I love to take some of the big money out of politics? I would. Uh, this campaign is making a decision that the rules are what they are and they cannot play by a different set of rules. It may mean more money, but will it brand him as a hypocrite? I don't think anybody's really going to care. They're more concerned about jobs, the economy, and, and things like that.